So today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to find iron, silver, and gold, and give you a very useful tool so that you guys could find it no matter where you are in the world of New World. Let's talk about it. What's up everybody and welcome back to the Expo and Hideout. My name is Ghost. If you guys have never been here before, I'm super excited you guys are here. Today we're gonna to be going into a little guide on how to find iron, silver, and gold in New World. That way you guys can craft furniture and new items and armor and all that stuff. Before we get into the video, I do stream every single day on Twitch, except for Sunday for 5 a.m. PST. Make sure you grab some caffeine and come have some fun with us. Other than that, if you guys find some value out of today's video, make sure you guys smash that like button. It does go a long way for the channel. And if you guys wanna see more New World content, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and always hit the bell if you wanna be notified when videos go live. Let's get into this guide. So the first thing I wanna talk about before I go and show you guys where to find these things is I wanted to show you this resource because it's absolutely amazing. I already linked it in one of our other videos. I'm gonna link it in this video in the description. It is newworldslashmap.com. The reason why this is so dope is because you can go over the entire map and you can put on different filters, cities and others, ores, plants, woods, whatever you need to find, this map makes it extremely easy and it's free to use. You can leave a donation, let the people know that you appreciate them for putting this out there, but this is absolutely amazing. So with that being said, what I did is I basically put the filter in so that we can see ores, and then when you go to ores, you can actually choose which ore you want to see. What we're gonna have by us is we're gonna have saltpeter, we are going to have silver, iron, gold, and lodestone. Um, actually, we're gonna have some of these other ones as well. Star metal, there is some star metal bias. So the reason why I like where we are is because Unlike, as you can see, anywhere there's like a mountain area, this dark um, little area on the map, most of it, I guess, not all of it, um, you're gonna be able to find uh, iron, you're gonna be able to find silver, and you're gonna be able to find gold. Obviously, you have to be different levels to be able to harvest these. Um, but the veins over here by Windsward, so I actually started in Windsward, I live in Brightwood now, but I still do my mining here. And the reason why is because as we go down deeper, right outside of Windsward, which makes it extremely easy because if you have a storage here, which you can access from other points, you can go ahead and fill up, go in, unload, go back, fill up, and it makes it extremely easy when you're mining. The other thing is, is look at all the different metals that it has over here. So there's gonna be other mountains you go to that are gonna only have iron, which is fine if you need iron. But this gives you the ability to farm a bunch of silver, gold, and iron in the same area. So the area that I'm gonna be showing you guys is this area. Please use this map if you're in somewhere else. Um, like I said, if you guys are in Everfall, if you guys are in Brightwood, look at how much ore is just in this area alone over here in Monarch's Bluffs. This looks like a great place to mine. Um, that's probably gonna be one of the next places I'm mining. So anyways, we are gonna be coming out of here, right? And we are gonna be mining in this little area. So I'm gonna show you what some of them look like and uh, show it to you in real time. Okay, so here we are outside. And as you can see, I'll put the map up right here. This is the Windsward Settlement. And we're right outside. Um, there's Dinkfer Hollow, and then here's a bear cave. So the only thing you really have to worry about is there's some recommended level six for mining over here. But up here, you don't really wanna mess with the bear. He's actually really hard to fight by himself, depending on your level. And then there's also some Pumas that are around here. Um, that are level 14. So with that out of the way, we're gonna go right over here. So as you can see, we have that uh, star metal. I believe that's what it's called. And then all in this area, you're just gonna see these little mounds like where that guy was. And you're gonna just go to these mounds. Let's see if we can find some up here. How much have I do I have right now, actually? So I have 332 silver ore and 43, and I've literally been doing this for like 10 minutes. You can do it extremely fast. You just gotta find them. So we're gonna be climbing up here. Let's look for some real quick. Sorry, it's at nighttime, guys. So this was just broken. This is some gold that somebody just got. Here we go. So when you get to level 25, you can see on the very top of my map by the southwest portion, it actually marks it. I don't know if it marks it all the way down here, um, but it does mark it on your map. Okay, so it doesn't mark it right here, but it does mark it on your bearing up here. This is showing me that there's iron, and at level 25, now it's gonna show me every single time I see it, which is very, very helpful. So we're gonna go over here, and we're just gonna start mining some of this. This is a smaller one. Um, also, in the next video, I'm probably gonna be showing you guys how to craft all of your iron stuff. So once you find it, how to craft um, better tools, that way you can harvest things faster and more efficient. Look at this. 
And we're just going to find a bunch of these. I'm going to run around real quick to see if we can find some silver as well. Here's some more right here. They're kind of hard to see if you don't know what you're looking for. And you can see like the little pieces of iron within the rock. And the silver will have like little slivers of silver and so forth. That's what it looks like when it's done. So you can tell like even where they are. Um, like if somebody else came and did this, we can already see like where they were. You know what I mean? So we're going to go down this way. Don't jump too far down. You actually don't take that much fall damage. But uh, just in case. Back in the level six area. Oh, wow. We glitched. Life hack, stay alive. Here's a bunch right here, or was, I should say. There's some down here. Is that silver? There's some wolves. Silver. See how it looks like a different color? It has that little bluish tint on it? This is silver. We'll go ahead and get some silver. Um, if you guys haven't watched my video on how to craft a bigger bag to hold more space, that way you can hold more weight, it's especially good for mining because this is all very heavy. So go ahead and go to that video. Um, I'll link it somewhere up here for you guys and you guys can watch that. That way when you go on your mining excursion, you'll be able to have more room. So I'm not going to go through and farm a bunch of them. Basically, in this whole area, um, just follow it around, and you're going to be able to find a bunch of mine things. The other way that you can check it is in resource locations. You can actually go here, and it says in the Highland area, and it shows this little map right here, you can find silver, iron, and stone. Um, it's a little bit hard to see like where exactly that's at. I think the other map is a little bit better, so um, hopefully that will help you. That's going to wrap up the video. I hope that it was straight to the point and helpful. If you guys have any questions, let me know down in the comments. If you guys need help finding anything else um, or have questions about the game in general, let me know down in the comments. Maybe we can make a video based on your question. If you guys got some value out of today's video, make sure you smash the like button. It does go a long way for the channel. And make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you want to see more New World content. And you can always hit the bell if you want to be notified when videos go live. I would love to have you guys by the live stream, especially as we push forward out of the beta into the 31st when the game launches. We are going to be putting in a lot of New World hours. So I'd love to see you guys over there for 5 a.m. PST every single day except for Sunday. I hope you guys are very blessed. I hope you have an amazing day or night depending on where you're at in the world. I hope that you guys are enjoying the beta as much as I am. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Happy adventures, my friend. Great job. Good job, bro. Look at that. Look at that arm. Oh my gosh. Look at those forearms, dude. Dang. My boy getting it. My boy getting it, bro.